What's up guys, Skuxlore here with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be focusing on all of the quests in the Valley of Trials. The Valley of Trials is, of course, as you can see on the map, a sub-zone within the Duratar larger zone, which is of course in Kalimdor. And the Valley of Trials is in the southwest part of the zone. You can see it here. This is the starting area for the orcs, and w as you know, I'm going for the all the things account mode completion as challenge. So we are here to get all of these quests on the right side of the screen. You can see uh, there are 13 for us to get done in this area. I do have text to speech turned on, so we're going to be going through each quest individually uh, so that we can sort of look at the quest giver, the start and stop areas, to, and also the task. Uh, if you're interested in watching all the quests, this video will do that for you. Or if you're interested in watching a particular quest, uh, of course, you can check out that quest YouTube video on my channel. Uh, and as always, if you're interested in following along as I work towards the 100% of everything in the game, be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, for future YouTube videos. Okay. So for this quest, the quest giver is, his name is Kaltunk. Finally, you are of age. Skux Shami, a vage to battle in the name of the Horde, to conquer for the glory of the War Chief. Yes, Kaltunk looks you over. You will do nicely. No doubt you wish to find a great dragon or demon and strangle it with your bare hands, but perhaps it would be wise to start on something less dangerous. Kaltunk laughs. Report to Gornig, he should be able to assign a task better suited to a young shaman. You will find him seated at the fire behind me. Quest objectives. Speak with Gornig. Okay, so this quest is uh, your place in the world. Uh, you can Go see we are here. Kaltunk gave us the quest. Uh, you can also see that it's within the, the area called the Den. And the quest uh, complete is right behind where Kaltunk is standing, uh, right by this fire pit. Uh, somebody named Gornik. So let's go ahead and talk to Gornik. Blood Another one of Kaltunk's recruits? Hmm? A sorry state of affairs we find ourselves in if this is the best the Horde can produce. No matter. By the time we think you're ready to leave the valley, you'll be a proud warrior of the Horde. There we go. So that's all we have to do for the quest called Your Place in the World. Let's go ahead and hit Complete Quest and grab the next quest. The first order of business will be to put a little strength in your backbone. I could send you out to the barons to hunt Kodo, but well, in all honesty, you're more useful to us alive than dead. I believe you'll be of more use to us slaughtering the boars you'll find in the farms to the north and northeast of here. Quest objectives. Slaughter six mottled boars. Okay, so he this quest here is called Cutting Teeth. Um, the quest location, we'll go ahead and accept the quest here. We get a cord of accomplishment, uh, which is a male waist piece, and one gold, 80 silver. Uh, so you can see the quest start is in the in the den, right here by the fire pit. Uh, the quest giver is Gornik. He's asked us to go kill some boars. So as you can see, these coming out of the den, you can see the boars are up here on the farmland. Um, just north of the den. So let's go ahead and walk up that way. Yeah, so you can see the farm farmland here on the left. And there's actually two pits of boars. You've got, this, and there you can see the farmer inside. You've got one pit of boars on the left side and one pit of boars on the right side. So let's go ahead in here and we have to kill six of them. This, of course, will be super easy. I don't have a target. There we go. We got all six. Let's go ahead and loot. Okay. So once we've grabbed those six boars, we will head back down this way. Back towards the den to the quest giver whose name is Gornik. And let's see what he got to say. Strength hmm, and honor. Not bad, <laughs> Skuck Shami. But don't let it get to your head. You'll fight tougher than boars in your career. Nonetheless, you've proven yourself well, 
and your next trial will be against a considerably more dangerous opponent, so you'll need some extra protection. Okay, so he's going to give us extra protection, which comes in the form of the Cord of Accomplishment. You're not just another grunt. You seem to be a serious shaman. Good, because that's exactly what I need. Try not to let the word out, since I don't want to cause a panic. But there have been reports of more humans nearby. This is an egregious betrayal of the peace that we negotiated with that miserable Jaina Proudmore. We can't allow humans here in Duratar, and especially not here in the valley. You will find them to the south. Slay them quickly, before their numbers increase any more. Quest objectives. Slay seven North Watch scouts. Okay, so the name of this quest is uh, Invaders in Our Home. And you can see the context here is we have humans that are actually invading a uh, portion of Duratar here. Even though they've signed a treaty with Jaina Proudmore, um, there seems to be some scouts coming from North Watch that we have to take care of. You can see the quest reward 90 silver as well as a, a male chess piece called the Valley Defense Hallberg. Go ahead and accept that quest. And again, the quests start here in the den. And you can see the, the North Watch scouts are just south of the den. Uh, so we'll head down there now and take care of them. As you can see, they are kind of in stealth mode, but not, not deep in stealth. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start taking these guys out. We need seven total. Okay, that's four. They all seem to be human. Humans from North Watch. And there we go. We've got seven out of the way. And you can kind of see there, there's a little back area south of the den. A lot of different cactus formations, but it's mainly North Watch scouts. And with that, we will head back to the den to turn in the quest. Here's the quest giver, Gornick. Talk to him. Executed with quickness and discretion. A job well done. Okay, we'll go ahead and complete the quest for the Valley Defense Hallberg and 90 Silver. I must send you back into the fields again, Shaman. You will find large numbers of scorpids northwest of here. Bring me eight of their tails. The antidote for their sting is actually made from venom extracted from their stingers. We keep large quantities of antidote for scorpid venom on hand to heal young bloods just like you. But I'm sure you won't be needing any of that, will you? Quest objectives. Obtain eight scorpid worker tails. Yeah, okay, so you can see here what we've got to do is um, get some of the scorpids so we can build uh, the antidote, right? So we got to extract venom from their stingers. Uh, you can see the quest reward is also venom themed. It's the toxin stained pants, uh, as well as 90 silver. Let's go ahead and accept that quest. Go forth to and you can see this quest uh, kind of directing us north of the den, uh, where it seems to be a bunch of scorpid workers. And again, this is called Sting of the Scorpid. So let's go ahead and walk up that way. So we're going to go past the farmland here, right, where we killed the boars on the starting quest. And as we get north of the farmland, you'll start to see, just like over here, you'll see a scorpid worker. Okay, so we got to get eight of these. I need to target something first. Specifically eight of their tails. Okay, so we just kill these guys off.
That makes three. Let's head around here. We're going past the farm there on the left side. You can see there's more scorpions on this other side here. Definitely a bit annoying to get around with all these rocks. There we go, we got seven. And that should be all she wrote. Okay, so now we've got, you can see this area north. You can see we have to go back to the den to turn in the quest. So let's head back there now. And again, you want to go past that farmland, the boar farm. Got some dung beetles hanging out here. You also notice that there's nothing that's uh, actually aggressive in this starting area. So you don't have to worry about being attacked. You see we've got another quest here from Foreman Thazrol that we'll get to. And we got another quest on the far side there that we're going to get to as well. Okay, here's the quest Gornik, a uh, quest giver. What do you need? The carapace of a Scorpid isn't so thick that the strength of a determined warrior will be deterred. Strike strongly and without doubt, and the Scorpid should prove easy prey. Okay. There is an important lesson that you must take away from fighting scorpids. The smallest or largest of opponents can still send you to your doom. In fierce combat, any number of things can prove your downfall. I have no more to teach you, Skux Shami. You have done well, and I will watch your progress with interest. Okay, so he's done teaching us. He's giving us the toxin stained pants, as well as 90 silver. So let's go ahead and turn in Sting of the Scorpid. For the Horde. And now... Let's go ahead and grab these other quests. Let's see what we got up here first. Okay, we've got a quest giver here named Galgar. It sure gets hot out here in the Valley of Trials. Galgar wipes his brow. If only I had some cactus apples, I could make my famous cactus apple surprise. Nothing cools you off faster than a piece of that delicious treat. I'll tell you what, Skuck Shami. If you bring me six cactus apples, I'll make you a few portions of cactus apple surprise to take with you on your adventures. If you're interested, you can find cactus apples growing near the cactus plants around here. Quest objectives. Obtain six cactus apples. Okay, so you can see this is the cactus apple surprise, uh, which we've got to get cactus apples. Sure. And, Go and Galgar will make it for us. So you can see quest giver here is inside of the den near the cave. Um, it does seem like the most of the map is covered with the cactus apples. So let's go ahead and uh, let's head out and see if we can find some. I think we'll start by heading south of the den here, as you can see. See if we can get any along the walls or mountains here. This is back where we killed the Northwatch scouts. Looks like there were two over there on the far side. You can see them kind of highlighted. Yeah, so what you're looking for is the cactus plant that has an apple fruit on it, right? So this is what it looks like. This is the cactus apple. Go ahead and grab that. Uh, you can see that it actually disappears when you loot it. Here's the second one. Different kind of cactus plant there, but it looks similar. We had another one spawn here, so let's go ahead and grab that. And we've got three. Okay, no more in that section, so we'll head over, see if we can find another. There we go. We've got a section of cacti on this far side here. One sitting here in front. Let's go ahead and grab that one. Okay. Make our way around the mountain this way. Doesn't seem to be any cacti up there, but we've got some here. Is there any cactus apple in this one? Doesn't look like it. So 
we'll keep heading around. Does look like there's one over there in that batch. Let's see if there's one up here as well. Yeah, here we go. We got one right here. Okay, that's five. So we'll go ahead and go this way. Grab that one here as we head back towards the den. And this is really all there is to it, right? So you're just grabbing six apples off the cactus apples plants. You can see here, we gathered them all south of North Watch. And now we're heading back to turn it in. Now again, this quest is called Galgar's Cactus Apple Surprise. In which case, you can actually give us the Cactus Apple Surprise as a reward. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it in. Speak, friend. Have you finished collecting Cactus Apples? Wonderful, Skunk Shami. As promised, here is your Cactus Apple Surprise plus a little something extra. Yeah, so you're going to give us 90 silver and the Cactus Apple Surprise, if you eat it, it restores it your now. health. What are you doing? And then um, you become well fed so you get one extra stamina for 15 minutes. And if you are going for some achievements, you can see here I need to consume this. Uh, so let's go ahead and complete that quest. And let's go ahead and eat the apple and actually get the buff of one stamina. So you can see here, once you become well fed, there you go. Uh, one stamina. Okay, that completes that quest. Um, looks like we got a quest on the far side back here. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Looks like this is the only troll in the den. So this is Ganaga Earthcaller. What you want? Hey Moan, take a knee and hear me out. We got a problem. A good friend of mine, Hanazua, has gone out into the valley and he hasn't returned. Last I seen, he was headed north, where the Scorpids hunt. Maybe you go take a look for him? The spirits be telling me that he's not well. Quest objectives. Find Hanazua in the Valley of Trials. Okay, so this quest is called Hanazua. So apparently this guy has a friend uh, that's gone north of the den and we have to go find him. So let's go ahead and accept that quest. And we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at our map. You can see we're in the den. It seems like his friend has gone kind of northwest of the starting area. Let's go ahead and head up that way. You can head in between the farmland here. Or sorry, the farmhouse and the mountain. Head straight. You can see that tree in the distance there. Um, that seems to be where the where the quest is taking us. So. Oh, there we go. Right underneath the tree. Seems like we found Anazua. Uh, looks like another troll. Like he's got a sword and maybe not very alive. But let's let's go ahead and check and see what he has to say. Hanazua groans in pain. Okay, so he's in pain. We're gonna go ahead and complete that quest for twenty-three silver, and that was the quest called Hanazua. Shaman, I thought I would die out here with none to know of it. While I was hunting the scorpids of the valley, I came across a particularly vicious looking one. Hurling myself at it, I managed to inflict a massive blow to its claw before it closed around my leg. I wasn't ready for its stinger though, and it sliced down and into my chest, cutting into my flesh and letting my blood. Please, you must kill the scorpid for me. My honor must be upheld. I fought it up on the plateau to the south. Quest objectives. Kill Sarkoth and bring his claw back to Hanazua. Okay, so this quest... Milf Vanas. My fate is in your hands. This quest is called uh, Sarkoth. And you can see here we've got to kill a, uh, a scorpion. Pretty cool looking scorpion. Uh, for this quest we're going to get 90 silver. And it's... And so clearly this guy tried to fight him and, and ended up getting poisoned with the stinger. Uh, so let's go ahead and accept that. Uh, you can see this quest starts out here uh, by this tree. Uh, there is a breadcrumb quest, which we picked up from the den called Hanazwa, uh, which we'll send you here. So you want to be sure and complete that one first. Uh, then once you get this quest, you can see the plateau here to the south. That's where Sarkoth is. So we're going to go ahead and start walking in that direction. You can kind of see it's up th in between these rocks up above the cave. So actually, it's kind of right on top of where you start in the den. 
And once we get up here, we're going to be looking for a named scorpion. There he is. His name is Sarkov. You can see he kind of looks pretty cool. He's got nice little red spots and stripes. Uh, some pretty good sized fangs. And look at that stinger. That's one stinger right there. Hey, let's go ahead and pop him. All right. Took him out. Go ahead and loot. We want to grab Sarkov's mangled claw. And then with that, we're going to head back down. Make sure you go back towards the tree. You're not going to be going to the den to turn this one in. So you got to go back to Hanazwa and turn in Sarkov's mangled claw. And here we go. Ah, my father always said I would never amount to much. And here, lying beneath a tree as life seeps away, I'm afraid it looks like he was right. At least I wish to die knowing that my last enemy in life lays dead. Okay, so clearly his father thought he was not worth very much, so let's go ahead and click forward. My blow was not enough to kill him, but looking at the damage I inflicted gives me some small measure of pride. That small measure will be all I have to sustain myself if I die, and in that light, the short list of my life's accomplishments fills me with anger. And this guy doesn't feel very highly of himself. So we're going to go ahead and turn in this quest. We're going to get the 90 silver and see what quest he gives us afterwards. Seeing the deed you have done for me steals my heart. I cannot fall so easily. I must endure. But it remains that I cannot make the trek back to our settlement unassisted. Please, Skux Shami, return and tell Gornik of my situation. Perhaps he can help me. Quest objectives. Bring the news of Hanazua's plight to Gornik in the Valley of Trials. Go swiftly, Skux Shami. My fate is in your hands. Okay, so you can see he's asked, so this quest here is called Back to the Den. Uh, and ha Hanazawa is asking us to go back to Gornik. Uh, you can see the quest rewards is the Aid Lender's Grips. Uh, you also get a dusty bag, so it's uh, good for early starting. Uh, you can see this quest again starts underneath the tree. Uh, it's the third part of a quest chain and it requires us to go back to the den. So we're going to start heading in that direction. What you want to do is, uh, basically you see the farmhouse right in front of us. You can cut between the farmhouse and the mountain and head right back there into the den. As you can see at this point, we're about seven out of 13 quests done in the Valley of Trials for the All the Things Account Mode Completionist Challenge. Uh, the good news is there is no transmog in this little subsection, so it's all about just getting the quest done. Uh, and you only kind of have to do this area once. Okay, here's Gornik. Let's go ahead and turn in the quest. From your description of the beast, I believe you must be speaking of Sarkoth. It is no wonder that Hanazo was overtaken by it. Aid will be dispatched to him immediately, trouble yourself no more with Hanazu's plight. However, I must say, I am most impressed to hear that you brought Sarkoth to death. It is a feat to be proud of, Skakshami. And that you would fight for a stranger's honor, while other tasks occupied your time, your own honor is heightened. Okay, so you're gonna give us the Aid Lender's Grips, as well as the Dusty Bag, and this will complete the Back to the Den quest. Go forth to victory. All right, now we can head over here to Foreman Thazrol first. Luktar. Cursed peons. They work hard gathering lumber from the trees of the valley, but they're always taking naps. I need someone to help keep the peons in line. You look like the right orc for my task. Here, you take this blackjack and use it on any lazy peons you find sleeping on the job. A good smack will get them right back to work. Return the blackjack when you're done. Look for them underneath the trees in the valley. Lousy slacking peons. Quest objectives. Use the foreman's blackjack on four lazy peons when they're sleeping. Okay, so this quest is called Lazy Peons. Go for and victory. you can see this must be the foreman. Hold on, i got to update my... My Q-Bar add-on here. If you're not familiar with Q-Bar, Q-Bar is a great add-on for... Uh, giving you much better clickable um, quest item uh, area. So basically it's a bar that will grow with all the quest items that you have. 
Okay, so the name of this quest is Lazy Peons. Uh, we can see that it starts here just uh, just inside the den area. Uh, you can see that the Lazy Peons are kind of all throughout the map uh, in Valley of Trials. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start heading over um, towards... They tend to be uh, either near trees because they are doing uh, lumber work. But I think I've also seen them just laying out uh, in other areas too. So you can see these guys here. So what you're looking for is there's a lazy peon can be in two different states. Uh, you can see this one here was actually working uh, by chopping the wood and they put the lumber in a pile. But you can see that they eventually will fall asleep just like this guy did. And you can whack them. Okay boss, I get back to tree hitting. Yep, see so what you want to do is want to whack them and then they get back to work. So you got to do that four times. So you've got that was one. Uh, let's see if we got any up on uh, up on the right side here. Hey, we got one here. Let's see if he falls asleep. He looks like he just uh, putting the lumber down. Work, work. Uh, he seems to be a pretty effective peon, actually. Uh, let's see if he lack more than two trips with the wood. He doesn't seem to be making much of a dent there on the wood. Okay, he puts it there in the wood pile and... Alright, that one there is pretty resilient. I think we're going to move on to another one. You can see he's still working over there. Okay, I see one sleeping in the distance here. Uh, see if he wakes up before I get there. So you want to click on that peon and you want to click that quest item, which is the Sleepy so sleepy the foreman's blackjack. There we go. We whacked him. He's awake uh, See if there's one up here by this tree sure is Click on the peon click on the blackjack Just was resting eyes back to work now. Yeah, he was just resting his eyes apparently whether you believe him or not, well, that's up to you. All right, so we'll head back down south. Chances are we'll probably see another one of the peons sleeping. And if not, we'll cut across here to the right a little bit. Yeah, so they're definitely by trees. I thought I might have seen them outside of the areas where there's trees, but they are definitely all lumberjacks. There we go. The one that seems so vigilant is now sleeping almost upside down on a hill. Yeah, let's go ahead and whack him. Sleepy. So sleepy. And with that, okay, you want to head back towards the den. And that concludes all the work you've got to do for the Lazy Peons quest. You can cut through the, the boar farm here if you want. Alright, we're heading back to Foreman Thazrol. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and turn in the quest. Speak, friend. No good lazy. Eh? Do you have my blackjack? Did you catch any peon sleeping on the job? Good, good. Maybe they'll think twice before slacking next time. Thanks for the help. Okay, let's go ahead and complete the quest. We're going to get one gold, 80 silver here. Be safe. All right. Now, if you take a look around the den, we've got, you know, what appears to be only one quest giver. This would be Zarethra Fargaze. So let's go ahead and talk to Farethra. Zarethra. Zarethra. Get that right. Look, Doc. I trust the Valley of Trials will teach you much, young shaman. I was sent to the valley to guide you, but I have discovered a growing taint here. One of the Burning Blade, a foul, demon-worshipping cult, has made camp here in the Valley of Trials. 
He skulks in a cave to the north, and his vile familiars have spilled from its mouth to cause havoc. As your first task against the burning blade, I bid you, defeat these familiars. Slay many and, if you survive, return to me. Quest Objectives Kill eight vile familiars. Okay, so the vile familiars are those little guys running around outside the cave. You can see we get the vile greaves by completing this quest, along with one gold, 80 silver. Okay, so again, the name of this quest that we're working on is called Vile Familiars. Let's go ahead and accept that. You can see that the quest starts in the den area, and the Vile Familiars are up here towards the Burning Blade Coven, uh, which is a cave that's inside of the Valley of Trials. And of course, the two main threats to the Valley of Trials are the North Watch, which is the, the set of humans that are invading from the south. And then to the north, you've got the Burning Blade who uh, will be, we'll get to see their leader uh, in a bit, but the Burning Blade has taken uh, refuge in a cave called the Burning Blade Coven here to the north. Okay, so what we're looking for right now is a vile familiar. You can see there's one. These guys are just walking around. Uh, see what that's what they look like right there, kind of wearing a, a vest. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, loot these guys. So we just got to get. Looks like eight kills. That's two. There's three. All right, four. Five. As you can see there, the cave is what's coming up here on the on the right side. This here is the Burning, Burning Blade Coven, uh, which uh, the future quest will send us in to do more action there. Okay, so we killed off the Vile Familiars. Now you're going to want to head back down south uh, again, past the farmland to the den. Let's head back to Zaretha here, turn in this quest. Greetings. You have done well, Skuck Shami. Although the Vile Familiars were merely pets of the darker powers within the Burning Blade, your success against them foretells greater deeds ahead. Okay, we're going to get the Vile Greaves. Let's go ahead and turn in this quest called Vile Familiars. Through my divinations, I see that an item of power, a medallion, hides deep within the Burning Blade Coven guarded by beasts and black magic. We must have it. For too long these demon worshippers have defiled our homelands. Cleanse the coven of its demonic taint by slaying the fell beasts and their leader. Return with this medallion as proof of your deed. Go, Skuck Shami. You will find the coven in a cave to the north. Quest Objectives Slay five fell stalkers and obtain the Burning Blade Medallion. Okay, so you got the Burning Blade Medallion that we've got to get. Uh, for this, we're going to get the Coven Hollow Wrist Guards, as well as the Minor Healing Potion and 2 Gold 70 Silver. Uh, this quest is called the Burning Blade Medallion. Now, this quest and another quest are certainly two that you want to do together. So go ahead and accept this quest. Go forth, victory. And you can see that Foreman Thazrol back here now has another quest. So let's go ahead and get that one from him. Skux Shammy. You are a dependable orc. Can I count on you for another task? Some time ago I was surveying the cave to the north for minerals, and I left my favorite pick behind. When I later returned to retrieve it I found the cave was filled with vicious beasts. Will you go into the cave, the Burning Blade Coven, and get my pick? I left it in a chamber with waterfalls. My pick has a spell on it so you can see it in the dark, so you won't have to worry about finding it. Just what's guarding it? Quest Objectives Bring Thesril's pick to form in Thesril. Okay, so you can see Thazrol was uh, in the cave mining, and he lost his pick there. Uh, well, because we're going there for the Burning Blade Medallion, we might as well grab this quest, which is called Thazrol's Pick. 
So sure. you're going to want to make sure you're on Burning Blade Medallion and Thazrol's Pick. You can see both of these quests are picked up just uh, to the northern part of the den here. And you can see that uh, we have to head up into this cave uh, called the Burning Blade Coven um, for both of the quests. So let's go ahead and head north. And on those quests, um, the Burning Blade Medallion is going to require us to kill five fell stalkers, as well as the Burning Blade Medallion that we have to loot off of the leader of the Burning Blade, uh, you know, pocket here in Valley of Trials. So we'll see who that leader is. And for Thazrul's pick, of course, we just need to find Thazrul's pick inside the cave. He said it was near a waterfall. So let's go ahead, head north into the cave pretty much straight north from where the quest givers are uh, you'll be able to see it here at the base of the mountain there it is um, there there are no fell stalkers outside the cave so you will have to go inside of the cave to get the fell stalkers and the the leader is at the very end of the cave so let's go ahead in here now uh, you can see that these are the fell stalkers. Let's go ahead and knock them out. We got to get five of them. Okay, there's one, two. There are some vile familiars inside of the cave. Okay, here's three. Now there is a, a path here where go ahead and kill this guy. It's four. You can see this path here, long way down. Okay, that's the way we go to get to the to the burning blade um, leader. So you can see all the way down there is a the burning blade leader. If you look to the right, you'll see in here it's highlighted. You see the pick. You can see it kind of glowing there. And on the right side here is a path that you don't really need to go down, uh, which is a waterfall path. So you got three paths. You got the one down here to the leader, the pick, uh, and then one you don't need to go. So go ahead and go in and get the pick first. You can go ahead and kill the last fell stalker. That puts us at five. Uh, here is the foreman's pick. Go ahead and grab that. You can head back towards that path, or you can choose to go right and follow this water path down, because the water path goes and essentially connects to, you'll see here, this is the long hallway that we were looking at. And you can follow this water path. I don't like a water ride at an amusement park all the way down into the pool here and there you go you'll see Yarog Bane Shadow this here is the leader of the burning blade that we see inside of the burning blade coven you can see you got a staff and a robe uh, doing some kind of shadow ritual thing there uh, so let's go ahead and pop him alright and we loot that so we get the burning blade medallion now you're going to want to head back up that long hallway. Remember that is a way out of the cave. You see the water going in the opposite direction as we're moving now. All right. Now once you get out of the cave, you're going to want to just go straight south all the way back to the den. Okay. You can see the farmhouse there straight in front of us. You're going to want to just walk towards the farmhouse. That's the easiest landmark to remember. And you can go in between the boar pen on the left and right to get back to the den. Alright, we got Foreman Thazrol and Zaretha. So let's go ahead and talk to Zaretha first to turn in the Burning Blade medallion. Strength and honor. Is your task complete, Skuck Shami? You retrieved it. Well done. Your efforts within the Burning Blade Coven are key in rooting out this cult in the Valley of Trials. But I fear they have further aims in our land. 
We have not seen the end of them. Okay, so for that we're going to get the Coven Hollow Wrist Guards, uh, as well as some minor healing potions. Let's complete that quest. Your trials against the Burning Blade are finished, here in the valley, but I want you to report your findings. Go to the Troll Village of Senjin and seek out Master Gadron. Senjin Village is east out of the valley, then right at the fork. Tell Gadron of the Burning Blade, and that they have reached the Valley of Trials. Discover from him if they have yet reached Senjin. Go, Skux Shemi, and be swift. I fear the evil found in the Burning Blade Coven is but the herald of a larger threat. Quest Objectives Speak with Master Gadron in Senjin Village. Okay, so she's asking us to go to Master Gadron in Senjin Village and tell him about the Burning Blade. So we basically took out the Burning Blade leader inside the cave, uh, but she has fear that it's much larger than that. So we're going to go ahead and grab the report uh, to Senjin Village quest. Quite well, friend. Before we go there, we're going to turn in the other quest that we had picked up. What do you need? Have you entered the Burning Blade Coven, Skux Shami? Did you find my pick? Okay, so we picked up Thazrol's pick. Great, you got it. Thanks a lot, Skux Shami. This is my favorite pick. Now if my peons ever finish chopping down these trees, maybe we can find a nice cave to mine. Okay. So we picked out his pick. And, of course, he's referring to his lazy peons uh, chopping down trees. So let's go ahead and complete that quest for one gold, 80 silver. For the Horde! All right. That, as you can see on the right side, we have one quest left to complete all the quests in Valley of Trials. Uh, you can see there are no more quest givers here in the den. Uh, so this means we're going to actually make our trek... Uh, towards Sinjin Village. So now to get the Sinjin, you can open up your map. You can see that we're in the den. Uh, if you do a right click, you'll pop out to Duratar. You can see that Sinjin is in the southeast part of the map. So you've got to follow the road out of the Valley of Trials and then take a right down into Sinjin Village. So let's go ahead and start walking that way. So you can follow this road. I always like to walk in some of these areas to kind of take in the, the atmosphere and the environment. So you can see there's actually some some wood burning there. Kind of crazy to think that they would have, you know, a lot of fire in the middle of a desert that's already hot. But you see some wood burning there on the left side as well. Got a hair. Don't know what the hair is eating, but we got one. You can see there's a, there's a lot of thorns on top here, and you got a wall. You can go left or right here. It doesn't really matter. They all go to the same place. As you head around here, uh, you can see that they both feed back into this opening in the wall here. And we are out of the Valley of Trials and into Duratar. So you can see this is the looking back at the Valley of Trials. And let's go complete that last quest. So, see here, you can see the, the Sinjin village to the right. Uh, you've got the den here, which is where we came from, and you got Razor Hill that way. Uh, so, again, we are after Sinjin, so let's go ahead and take this road here. And again, we're working on this quest here called Report to Sinjin Village, which is the last of the 13 quests for Valley of Trials that will pop us to 100%. Now let's make sure our All the Things settings has Show Completed Groups, which I like to have turned on, uh, because then it keeps, it lets you know that that portion is done. All right, we are approaching Sinjin Village here. You can see it. You got some palm trees. Got some tents. Now you can definitely see this is a troll area and not orcs. So let's head into the center here. You've got a little pond area with the with a couple trees, and there is Master Gadron. A troll wearing a mask, holding a staff as well. So let's go ahead and talk to Master Gadron. Turn in a quest. Someone hmm. call for the doctor? Your report comes at a bad time. The Burning Blade is no longer seen here in Senjin, but we will be vigilant in our efforts to prevent their return to the area. 
The orcs are friends of the Darkspear trolls. Honorable friends. We want to help the orcs, but we need help too. Okay, so you can see he's saying the Burning Blade hasn't really been a problem in Sinjin. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and complete this quest. We'll give us the 45 silver, and you'll see that we'll be done with the 13 quest in Valley of Trials. I be getting too oh man, old for this. this ain't good. Not one bit. Monday. Thralls off to sea, Vulgens taking care of business in Echo Isles, and Old Master Gadr. Okay, Just so with that, not we're going to actually uh, end this video. Um, you can see the whole goal here was to get the 13 quest done for Valley of Trials. Uh, with those 13 quests, it puts Valley of Trials 13 out of 17. We will be doing another video on the battle pets of Duratar um, to help explain what battle pets we have to collect there. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. And that puts us at 13 out of 221. Let's, let's switch over, make sure we're on account mode. We are. We're on completionist. The Duratar has 221, um, you know, items that we've got to get, and we've got 13 out of 17 now that we've completed the quest. So with that, guys, thank you for hanging out, watching all of the quest, and hope you enjoyed the text-to-speech as well. Helps to bring the quest to life, and be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys out there in Azeroth. Cheers.